Okay, here we are at the workbench. On my quest to uh, pick my own bikes, I decided to get a uh, bike stand, a mechanic stand. This was made by Venzo. It's on uh, Amazon. I'll uh, put a link in the description. So let's open it up and see what's inside. seat post or your frame and here's the base here so it looks like you can put the clamp either in like that or like that depending on how long you want your offset I'm gonna put it like this so there it is looks like it's a, it's a, I bought a bolt down because I wanted all metal construction. I wanted something that was going to last and um, something that was simple and I could store in a small area. So, anyways, here's the uh, clamp. It just goes like this. Looks like these are all quick releases. Yep, they're all just cammed quick releases. So you clamp down the bike and then a little extra cinch there. These things are all going to work the same way. Here's it open. Tighten it up. How you want it in there and then just fold it over and now it's locked and that looks like that's it and there's another one back here and then one for this this axis here so anyhow that's it so i'm gonna bolt it bolt it down and then i'll uh, be back all right to uh, mount mount this a few options you can mount it directly to your bench like that and um but uh, that's, that's not what I'm going to do. Another nice option I like, it's a little less permanent, is to mount it to a piece of wood that you can clamp in your vise at any time. Um, that makes it nice and removable. I left a little bit of uh, overhang here so the bike can hang away from the workbench. You don't want to go too far out or the bike can maybe crank out of the vise and fall on the ground. You don't want that happening. So anyhow, good and tight. Alright, uh, we can just put this in here, crank that to whatever tension we want. That feels pretty good. Put this one at 
What's nice is once you get these set, then all you gotta do is flip the lever and you get the same tension you want over and over again. It's quick releases. Here. What's nice about this uh, bike thing is it's got this nice pad in here. It's really soft. Um, it's got little sir clips holding it on there. It seems to be a pretty quality piece of equipment. Uh, it's all metal construction, which I really like, other than the pad. Um, a lot of the stuff you get, even from Park Tools in the two, three hundred dollar range, it's got plastic clamps and plastic connectors, or especially plastic connectors along you know, the stand, if it's a floor stand. And I just don't think that stuff's gonna last. So this should last forever. I may have to put, you know, some kind of pad in here later or a rag around the bike if the pad wears out. But anyhow, let's grab a bike and throw it in there. They put a nice coarse thread on the clamp part since uh, that has to be adjusted widely. Adjust pretty fast and the, little quick, the quick release seems to work good too. I don't think I'm going to go too crazy on uh, clamping it in there. But um, we can release these two and now we can rotate the bike. Say we want to work on you know, the front brake or whatnot. Just like that. Now you can work out there. A better bet would be to readjust this balance here. Slide the fork or slide the bike down so it's a little bit more balanced at this new angle. And there you go. Now you can work on the front of the bike. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to get screwed up. The frame isn't going to get all scratched up. You're not going to drop the bike. You can work on your front brakes here. You know, whatever you need to do. All right. What's good about this setup here is let's take the bike back out. And uh, let's say we want to use the vise for other stuff and we don't want this thing always on the bench. Well now it just comes right out and uh, throw that in the toolbox just like that. Want to use it again? Let's say you don't want as much throw as I just had. Overhang, just like that. Put the bike in there, be a little sturdier that way. Um, you know, I didn't have these tight enough. But uh, anyways, that's it. When you tilt the bike, you probably want to try to balance it where it naturally wants to pivot so that these aren't holding all the tension, but they'll hold quite a bit, it seems like.